What's up, heroes? My name is Silent Clone, and welcome back to KOTOR. Today, we are starting on Yavin 4. I want to visit my favorite shopkeeper because he has some cool and rare items. After I get a chance to talk to him, or we get a chance to talk to him, I should say, we're going to head on and continue our quest to save the galaxy. So let's see here. He should be right around this corner. Hey, buddy, what's going on? You got some new items? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Every time I've been here, you've had some new items. Why don't you show me the goods and uh, who the heck are you? And you've got a big light-repeating blaster. All these Trandoshan guys, I don't like them. They're jerks. How'd you get on here? Ah, so they used his own items against him to be able to board. You you guys maybe aren't as dumb as you look. But then again, you are trying to fight ass one dick whistle. What do you want? You're to teach Suvam a lesson and me. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to teach me any lessons whatsoever. It's me who's going to be teaching you the lessons of don't mess with me. So we're going to start up some combat here. Stun this guy out and get ready just to go full out murder mode. Jolie's still being out here too, but I want to I want to use him for some stasis fields, some force waves, and some good old knight valor, master valor. That's going to help tremendously. And then Kart's going to get involved somehow, some way with this right here. All right, guys, you got the plan? Great yes. break. All right, taking these guys down, making my way downtown, and I'm walking fast. I'm homebound. Da 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 da. Dum dum dum. Da 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 dum. Hey, can, can you give me just a minute? Holy crap! I'm getting blown up here. Don't you just heal right in front of me? Okay, Karth, you're our only hope. I swear to God, if this guy heals again. One more hit, Karth. Yeah, we got one. Go for the other one. Yeah, Karth, hit him again. Mess him up, Karth. He's the last one. There we go. Man, 55 damage. That was great. All right, Subem, I definitely didn't die. That's not what happened whatsoever. Eh, it's okay, that's why Aswat's here. We are here to help. Get them out of here, man. You don't want to get more reinforcements. That's not not a good thing. Hey, it's my pleasure to help. You've provided such great items, and you've been great to talk to. I only wish we would have ever played Pazak. I'm not much of a player myself, but it would have been fun to play. Oh, you're going to show me the special stuff. Nice. Give me that special stash. Yeah, absolutely. Let me take a look at this stuff here. Wow. Light exoskeleton. Wow, that's some great armor there. But these are the two I'm mostly here for. And I'm actually going to pick up the mantle of force. These two will amplify any of the attack. Uh, amplify my crystals already on my lightsaber and i've done some looking into it and i've run the numbers i think mantle of the force is going to be great here disruptor x weapon what is this thing that just nah it doesn't sound that great that heavy repeating blaster looks fantastic though lots of good lots of good stuff here all right so we're going to pick up mantle of the force Yes, I know it's more than 850 credits. We're going to install that. Yeah, Jolie, we needed we need some healing cuz we're not doing that great. Jeez, this guy had 1000 credits on him. How many more are there? Another 1000 credits. And another 1000 credits. Jeez, these guys are loaded. All right, with those guys taken down, see us have them. I'm going to be heading out cuz we have work to do. All right, back on the Ebon Hawk. First thing first, we're going to put the mantle of the force on our lightsaber. Lightsaber here. Lightsaber. What am I talking about here? So it's going to change our color. While well, I've been kind of getting used to the yellow, it's going to be a nice change for us here. So we're going to go ahead. 
Oh, look at that glow. That is super sweet. Now to the map room, because now, Karth, we're going to need you to lead the way, because now that we have all of our star maps, a new world has opened up to us. The Star Forge system. This planet has no entry in our Republic archives, so that is where we're going to go now that we have all of our star maps. To whatever it is this Star Forge system might be. Let's take on off here from Yavin and check this out. Meanwhile, it sounds like Bastila is getting tortured. You sadistic bastard. No, you won't. I'll never fall to the dark side. So you just have a one-shoulder cloak. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Oh, you think that, huh? <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. That's because it has cookies, and cookies smell delicious. Its power can be yours. Yeah, he definitely has a one-shoulder cape cloak thing. Be so much cooler if it was a full cape. The one just kind of looks silly and lame. And that is a bright star. Sun, solar system, whatever the heck it is. It's bright and pretty. And let me guess, we're flying straight towards it. What the heck is that? That's a lot of Imperial ships. I think we're in the right place, guys. A Star Forge. I've never seen anything like it. Neither have I. That thing is intimidating. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Messages away. Just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. I like your thoughts, Karth. Small Never mind. Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Onto the turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. You know I'm the right person for the job. In incoming fighters. Die, 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 die. I hate these missions so much. Aha, I got that one. There's still three more. This guy's going to go. Don't care. I've targeted this one. I still haven't gotten him yet, huh? Can you st stop shooting at me? Where's this other one? There he is. Come back here. Fight me. Got him. Sniped. Get back out of sensor range, Karth. Uh, we've got problems. We've flown in some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. Karth, why did you I'm fly us into a that? Single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. I don't. I don't like the maybe and the rough landing part, Karth. I'm pretty sure this is your fault. We're in this situation. Now is it the big blue one? Because that's what it looks like. I wasn't sure if it was that or the little one. And we get another... No, wait, that's not us. That looks like the Endar Spire, almost. Karth, pull up. Oh, you actually landed us. I thought we were going to crash. Hey, but now it's beach time. I love the beach. Aswad's got to work on his tan. Whew. Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? Flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian ale drinking binge. Mission, what do you know what that? How do you know what that's like? We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Evan Hawk airborne again. Are we really not going to discuss the fact that Mission talked about drinking all night? The hulls of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. 
Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. I like your eyes, Shahani. Right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. It looks like we have a twofold mission here. Find the parts, disable the field. The disruptor field could wipe out the entire Republic fleet. I wonder why the sh Sith ships aren't affected by the disruptor field. Yeah, that's a big question. Maybe they're flying outside of it. But more importantly, the Republic, they're on their way. Mes a message has been sent. You're right. That Sith fleet we saw must have some type of protection against the disruptor field. That would make sense. Sith we'll would be protected to against it. Disable it. Or the Republic will be slaughtered. What's that, T3? He's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. I think we need to be going there as well. You all seem to be forgetting about Bastila. Hey, I thought we needed to find some stabilizers for the ship. Let's go check it out. Well, we're not forgetting about Bastila. She's she's there in the back of our mind. Why, why would we forget about her? We got to go check this out. This is going to be able to help us. Well, let's go check it out. Good idea. If that temple's generating power, it probably has something to do with that disruptor field. Hey, Very good. Don't forget about Bastila, guys. We still have to rescue her, too. But we can't do that by sitting here. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him, and the Sith will be invincible. That's okay. Aswad can get back, get her back into the sense. Bastila would never turn to the dark side. Even together, they are no match for me. I used to be the Lord of the Sith, remember? Well... While Aswad is egotistical, he is not that egotistical. Bastila would never turn to the dark side. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. Very true. Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. If Bastila's joined Malik, then she'll suffer the same fate as he does. Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. I'm Aswad Dick Whistle. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. Thank you for if your Bastila concern. Feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Very well, good. Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie. And we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. That sounds like a good idea. As smooth as you make it sound, Karg. I'm sure so it will. I'm sure. So do I. Yeah, that's that's true. Light side points gain. Yes, closer and closer here. Let's get off and start exploring. Now, here comes the big question. Who are we going to take with us? I think here... I'm going to take Jolie just because I I like the Knight Valor. And I think I'm just going to take, take Karth. I've been sticking with Karth this entire time. He's pretty much gone on every mission. It would seem wrong to leave him behind. Ah, guys, the beach... It's been a long time since we've been on the beach. Gotta go exploring here. Hold on, you look like that guy I saw in the prison. What do you want? Oh, there's more. What do you want? Go away. Oh, holy crap, there's five of them. All right, well, battle stations, everyone. Guess this is how we're going to be doing it. Yeah, okay. Do what you wish. Jolie. No, 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 no. Go, go back and start fighting. Okay. It definitely said there were five. I saw five before. Now there's only three. That was just way too easy. That first shot said 50-something damage. Granted, maybe it's this new lightsaber, but did that just say there's a Giska here? Oh, dear Lord. We're stuck with those things again. Don't get on my ship. Yeah, I knew there were more. They just got stuck behind here. All of you get stunned. Out of my way. One shot time. Get out of here. Duros? The murderous animals? I mean, sure, they came and attacked me. Uh, no, no a problem. If I had known you were here, I would have waited a couple minutes. Well, uh, they attacked first. They did attack me first. I was going to try to say hi. If the arrival had not been so fortuitously timed, we would have been in great danger. We thank you again for saving us. 
What are you what are you guys doing here? We had crashed here when our mining survey vessel encountered some strange sort of energy field. It disrupted our engine and power system and forced us to make a crash landing on this world, kinda like what happened to us. Our ship sank far out to sea, but a handful of us are able to make it to this island. More than you see here, though. Where are the rest of your companions? Many have been killed by the hands of the locals. A few tried to swim to one of the closer islands, but we have not heard from them in days. Of the ten of us who remained here, we are the only two remaining survivors, so you are the only ones here. The native creatures killed the others? They attacked any they came across. They are barbaric savages who feast upon the bodies of the dead. I see. The only beings who crash here that can hold them off are the Mandalorians. More of them. Fantastic. And we dare not go near them. We know of their de depredations too well. There are Mandalorians here? Yes, there are. More than you might think. Although that may just be because they aren't killed as easily as we are. With their weapons, they raid and kill other survivors and can fight off the natives as well. They seem to have some sort of invisibility or light cloaking shield that hides them until they strike. Alright, uh, where are they? They are north of here by a large temple structure. We dare not approach it. But we cannot delay here much longer. The longer we stay, the more likely either the Mandalorians or the natives will find and kill us. Uh, to, why don't you try to go to one of the other islands? We believe that would be the best choice. The others have not returned, but it may be because they could find no way to. It would be worth the risk rather than stay here and face certain death. Well, bye. Don't go anywhere near my ship. We're trying to fix it. Well, that's great to hear that the locals are, uh friendly, so to say. He's taking a nap in the sand. He's falling asleep. He's gonna get a sunburn. Oh, more locals. Hey, you with the grenade. You just became the first one on my target list. Get out of here. This is not even fair. I don't even need to use a flurry shot. These are just one shot. That was one of their elite warriors, too. Wow, Mantle of the Force is incredibly strong. What's over this way? I usually go to the left side first. North Beach. That's where the Mandalorians are. I want nothing to do with them. Never mind. So much for going that way. Actually, or do we want to go fight the Mandalorians and kill them all? Such a tempting option, but now we know where they are. Let's continue exploring up. To another fork in the road. Well, that's a pretty overview of everything. But doesn't it all tell us what we're looking for? I think that's the very large tower here, or one of them. Temple exterior. You know what? I think we're going to go fight the Mandalorians because fighting just kind of seems to be what Aswad Dick Whistle wants to do to kind of stretch and warm up after taking that crash landing. All right, the North Beach. I wonder if the sun's any better over here. That'd be my thought. The sun's got to be at least a little better. What's up? You guys have... Stay your weapons, Interlopa. We are not here for battle or blood. We bring you an invitation from the one great champion of the Rakata. Rakata, the one? What are you talking about? An invitation? What kind of invitation? Rakata, the one? What are you guys talking about? Wait a minute. You understood those creatures? Of course. You and Malak must have been here before. You, you probably learned their language back when you were Revan. Oh. You have used strange magic and weapons to slaughter our raiding parties, Interloper. You have bathed in the blood of fierce Rakatan warriors. Yes, I have. Your power and skill in battle is impressed the one. He wishes an audience with you. A great honor. Come with us now and we will take you to him. Okay. Take me to the one. Who is the one? What's going on here? Okay, take me to the one. Well, who is the one? The one is the leader of our tribe, the great champion of the Rakata. He has feasted on the flesh of many foes. Come with us now, we will take you to him now. 
Okay, uh, take me to the one. I don't like that you have Rancors, though. But that is kind of cool that they have them as pets. Or able to tame them. That must be the one. What's up, dude? Revan, somehow I knew we would meet again. Even when you vanished, I knew you would not forget the vow you swore to me. I don't remember this. And when my scouts told me of a great warrior from the sky slaughtering on our raiding parties with mysterious powers and magics, I knew you had last returned. I have no clue what you're talking about. I'm not Revan anymore. That part of me is gone. I'm Aswa Dick Whistle now. Val, I don't remember any Val. I'm Aswa Dick Whistle now. Your words are confusing. I recognize you. You are the one called Revan. You are the one who came here before. You and Malik. The one who served you. You promised to slay our enemy. In exchange for our aid, you swore to destroy the elders and bring us their secrets. Are you saying this means nothing to you now? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Because I have no recollection of this whatsoever. My mind was destroyed. My memories were lost. I'm sorry. I do not remember this. My mind was destroyed. My memories were lost. I believe you, Revan. I sense there's something different about you. Something that has changed. You're not the same as you were before. I'm cooler now. Yet the power of magic, what you call the Force, is, sti is within you still. You can still destroy the Elders and fulfill your vow. You can't force me to kill your enemies. What vow was this exactly? Well, what vow was this exactly? You vowed to kill the others and bring us the secret knowledge they protect. In exchange, we promised you th th this lost knowledge to help you enter the Temple of the Ancients. When you vanished, we thought you had forgotten us or been killed by the elders. Now that you have returned, our alliance still holds. Destroy the elders and we will help you. Temple of the Ancients, I still don't remember anything. Persuade, lie, I'll help you, but you have to answer my questions first. I will help you, but first you must answer my questions. Temple of the Ancients, I still don't remember anything. I suppose that if what you say is true, that you cannot remember when you were last here, then you must have many questions. Very well, Revan. I will help you understand, and then you will destroy the Elder's tribe and fulfill the oath you swore to us long ago. You should probably start with the last time I was here. I'm going to need some information if you want me to succeed. Uh, you should probably start with the last time I was here. You arrived with Malak, your servant, three of your galactic standard years ago. Okay, so we were here three years ago. My scouts saw your skyship plummet to the earth, and they went to loot the crash site. They tried to take you prisoner, but you unleashed your magic, which you called the Force, upon them. Seeing your power, they bowed before you and brought you here to me. You used your power to rip the Rakatan language from my mind, even as you drove basic into our skulls so we could help you in your quest to find something called the Star Forge. Wow. Revan was brutal. But the answers you sought lay within the Temple of the Ancients, and we could not help you enter the temple. The Elders alone hold its secrets, guarding them with their very lives. You said my shift crashed. Was it because of the disruptor field? I need repairs to my ship. Tell me about the Temple of the Ancients. Well, tell me more about the Elders. You've been mentioning them then a lot. The Elders guard the ancient secrets. Within their compound is the knowledge of power and magic, including the knowledge of how to enter the temple itself. I have lost many warriors storming the gates of their compound, but they use weapons of light and fire against us. And not even our warrior beasts are strong enough to breach their defenses. You mean your rancors? Sometimes we can capture an elder when they venture forth from their compound, and we have learned something about them. That is how we know they guard the ancient secrets. But, no matter what torches we inflict upon them, they will not reveal their secrets to us. They feel the knowledge they themselves guard, and they will never willingly surrender it to us. Tell me about the Temple of the Ancients. There's little I can tell you about the temple. I know the secrets of our ancestors are contained within, but the temple itself is barred to us. When last you were here, you and Malik sought to enter the temple. You sought ancient knowledge and a way to escape this world within its stone walls. But only the elders know how to bypass the barrier that surrounds it. Destroy them and bring back their secrets to us, and we will help you enter the temple. That was our agreement. Okay, so I'm gonna... Never mind, I'm not gonna guess here... Obviously, well, yeah, I could say obviously that didn't work out too well because it sounds like 
Revan and Malik gain access anyways because it, they didn't come back. You say my ship crashed was because of the disruptor field? Uh, yeah. I need parts to repair my ship. That I cannot help you with. Although we have recovered many strange devices from the skyships that crashed to the Earth, their use is a mystery to us. As a show of good faith, I will allow you to search the stores of our tribe and take whatever you find. In exchange, I know you will destroy the Elders and bring the secrets they guard back to me. You say my ship crash was because of the disruptor field? I know nothing of this disruptor field, but throughout the history of our tribe, ships have fallen from the sky. It has always been this way, though in recent generations it has become more frequent. We have little understanding of such magic to make metal fly, but my scouts rush to take whatever we can carry from the crash sites in hopes we may one day unlock these secrets. This is how we acquired our Rancor War Beasts. Several very young specimens were recovered from a crash vessel. We raised them to adulthood, training and breeding them to be loyal war beasts of war. Or loyal war beasts. I don't see any other choice, so I'll help you. I'll be back after I kill the others. I will help the others and bring you your secrets. Persuade lie. I will kill the others and bring back their secrets. Forget it. I will never help you against the others. Uh, let's see here. Well, I guess we could try a persuade lie and just kind of see what's going on. That might be a dark side option, though. Because I don't want to kill the elders, because if these guys are attacking them, it's obviously a good reason to keep these a, a secret. Uh, let's see. But I really don't see a choice, so I'll, I'll help you, I guess. The compound of the elders is to the south, beyond the Temple of the Ancients. From torturing the few elders we have captured, we know something of what lies beyond the gates. The elders are few in number. If you can get past the exterior defenses, you could surely slaughter them all. Then you can bring us back the knowledge they guard. So where is this information? In some kind of computer? If I kill the others, how can I bring you their secrets? Yeah, if I kill them, how can I bring it to you? There was one prisoner, an elder whose mind broke beneath our tortures. He raved of ancient rituals, of lost power and forgotten secrets. Unfortunately, most of his dying screams made no sense. Yet his last hours he spoke of a book, an ancient tome that recorded the most powerful language of the powerful knowledge of the elders, a de and detailed the rituals that could unleash the secrets. I am certain this ancient tome will allow me to unleash what has for so long been hidden by the elders. Bring me this book, and I will use the knowledge within, within it to help you enter the temple. I'll be back when I get that book. Lie, don't worry, I'll slay the others and honor our dear. Forget it, I'll never help you against the others. I'll be back with the book. When you have it, bring it here to me. Until then, you may move freely about our village. I will be waiting for your return. Interesting. I am not sure what we stumbled upon here. But I think we discovered upon the bad guys of this area, just based with how they're talking. And we're going to explore the rest of whatever it is this world is next time. I'm going to end the episode here. As always, if you did enjoy the video, let me know by hitting the like button down below. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Stay up to date on the newest KOTOR content that I put out as well. And feel free to follow me on Twitter for when new videos are posted if you don't hit that bell down below. Thanks so much for watching. May the Force be with you all. And have a great rest of your day. Take care.